So welcome to everyone that's here. And if you're watching the recording, we are so excited to have Jason, the, or the Jason Harris, <laughs> founder of the Design Network and our favorite uh, Design Network contact, Megan Morrow. Is that what you're going by these days? Yeah. Newly married, newly married. Um, and we're going to go over how to sign up and set up your profile on the Design Network. And we just love this resource. Dixie and I have been working closely with Jason and his team for uh, about a year now. And uh, Pretty close. for our business models, we just think it's the, the most incredible resource. Um, it touches it's, as Jason calls it, a 360, and I'll let you introduce it a little bit, Jason. It's got everything. So, um, Jason, do you want to go in and quickly introduce? I mean, we're looking at the design network as like the ultimate um, business partner for interior designers. We have a, a portfolio of some amazing benefits that uh, have been designed specifically for the independent interior designer to be more profitable, to be able to make more money, um, and uh, to have more time to sp spend time designing and not be in uh, into the logistics and uh, you know all the issues that surround that. Um, as you guys know, my uh, my brother and I own the world's largest uh, furniture store. Um, it's Furniture Land South, and it's in High Point, North Carolina. We do um, about $160 million worth of retail furniture business a year, and we ship, uh, ship that product all across the country and also internationally. Um, and a, several years ago, we had an idea um, to really create a sister company, uh, leveraging all of the, uh, the logistics and the resources, everything that we've built, basically, to serve it up to the design community in a different way. Um, that would allow these designers to um, to shine and do what they do, but also um, to to really benefit from uh, from the things that we do. Um, and I can get into those things specifically. I mean, I think um, we've we look at s several key uh, areas that are great benefits from the design network. One uh, is purchasing in logistics, and um, we. Being in the retail furniture industry, we have access to over a thousand brands of furniture. Um, we have a showroom that's over 1.3 million square feet. Um, and so what we're doing is we are, uh, we're opening up the showroom to designers and um, they can bring their clients to the showroom and uh, their clients can purchase from us and they just earn a transparent commission. Or they can, uh, they can buy from us with their special cost plus pricing um, and the great thing about that is, as you guys know, is, is um, you know, we have great relationships with these vendors. We buy at the very best prices. We have an incredible distribution center where we're able to receive all these products, um, you know, in a climate controlled environment. We store them. We consolidate the products. Um, and then we do white glove delivery uh, into the client's home when, when it's time to make that delivery. And all that is included in, in the cost. Um, we've, we've found so many issues and, and problems with designers trying to buy furniture directly from the manufacturers. Um, it just presents a lot more cost, a lot more risk, and a lot of challenges in the business. And um, so we, um, we're buying at the best prices, and, and we, on our cost plus model, designers that want to buy for resale can do that and not have the headaches of all the logistics and still have a nice opportunity for, for significant margin. I, I love that. Um, and you know, for designers that are kind of new to trade pricing, we get, we get discounts as designers, but we buy one off here and there. We don't, you know, it depends on the size of your, your firm. If you have a smaller firm, we don't get the pricing that the largest furniture store in the world gets so you know there's stocking dealer pricing and then you know you get the best of the best because of your buying power so um it really does we've had a lot of designers do cost comparison um and then taking out the receiver and the freight and all of that and plus adding in the white glove delivery it really does it's really really yeah. awesome pricing sure and there's there's a lot of risk with trying to buy direct and there's a lot of nuances to this one of the real key benefits we have 160 um project managers we're calling them now on the tvn side 
um, the project manager is um, is some is a point person for the designer, um, and these project managers managers are they they order furniture every single day, so they know all the nuances of, of the ordering process and the things to avoid, and and they're just they're really like um, you know just experts in home furnishings. They know these brands, they know the catalogs, they know stock availability, they know what fabrics can go on what frames. Um, and so they, they can be that real liaison when it comes to the actual process of putting these orders together. And, it, and there are so many pitfalls, I promise you, uh, as you get into all this customization that, that we have and, and we have access to. So that, um, that project manager is at your fingertips and really can do a lot of the legwork and a lot of the research that's required to, to a lot of times put these orders together. Um, so the first big benefit of the Design Network Trade Program uh, is purchasing in logistics. And so uh, they can work through their project manager to help source all the products, place the orders, manage that process, or they can go on our website. And once you're authenticated and uh, you have the credentials to log on to the Design Network as a designer, um, you, will be, you will see your trade pricing. Um, which is a lot of times uh, compared to like our IMAP pricing that we have all, online for consumers, um, it can be 20 to sometimes 40% less. And so when designers are, uh, are logged on and they want to source products directly from a website without um, working through their consultant or through their project manager, they can do that as well. Um, side note there, we are in the process of really building out our product database which is super exciting. Um, we have invested in a big pro product information management system, PIM system, um, where the, the vendors have their own portals and they're, they are um, really adding all the variants and options and things to all these great brands. I'm telling you, you can't hardly name a brand of furniture that we don't represent and have close relationships with. Right. Um, the logistic, I can't say enough also about the logistic side of this. There will be a problem with every furniture order, okay? There will probably be multiple problems, and it's not, it's not a matter of, you know, is there going to be a problem? It's, it's a matter of how are you going to address and deal right. with the problem? Right. We are experts at that. Um, we have an incredible customer service team, incredible drivers that turn those things around quickly. We have the relationships in the cloud with these manufacturers to also uh, get products returned, get them uh, replaced, uh, get them delivered more quickly. We're on priority status with all these vendors. So the purchasing is really the primary, um, you know, uh, offering that we have within this program. I think that's a perfect segue to see how designers can get onto your platform, um, which is Megan's going to share with us because you have to go in, you have to do a trade application. You have to have all your entity docs, um, do your trade application, and then you can create a profile to be able to purchase and use your buying power. Absolutely. Is there anything else you want to add before we start yeah. showing them how to do that? Oh yeah, I got lost. <laughs> I know, I know. Thought I'd give you the opportunity. No, I'll, I'll, I'll hit on these, the rest of these quickly, but you know, as we're building out this incredible community of designers, I mean, we have like 5,000 um, designers and there's a process of vetting uh, designers out. We turn, how many do we turn away like every day of designers that are designers that try to come to the program? We, we have a process where we actually go through and research. They have to have the correct documentation, resale certificates. Um, and so we, this is a program just intended for the interior design community, but um, the, the other things that we're doing as a result of building this incredible community is, is um, we're building a very powerful platform that offers other benefits for designers for being part of this program. Number one is purchasing logistics, but um, you have the opportunity to also uh, create your own profile on the design network. Um, we're launching a new look and feel to our profiles really soon, which I'm super excited about. So excited. Yeah, this is an opportunity for you to showcase your work um, and for other, um, for consumers to search for designers in their area. Um, and uh, just, it's an opportunity for great exposure through your profile. Um, the next thing we're doing uh, that, I'll, and, and that I wanna kind of tip you off to and, and we'll be getting in, into, it's not live yet, but it's where all of our waking hours are spent right now <laughs> uh, along with you guys is we are launching e-design. 
Um, and we could not be more excited about it because we think that it is, uh, we have all the ingredients uh, sort of on the table here to make this a really uh, win, win, win for us, for the designer and for consumers. Um, there's lots of e-design platforms out there right now with Havenly and Decorist and, and uh, Laurel and Wolf and others. Um, we're creating the only 360 degree platform for e-design where, um, you know, it's really from, in from inspiration to installation is kind of, kind of what we're saying now. I love that. Um, where consumers can come and they can, they can really discover their style. They can, um, you know, they, they can find, they can search through these portfolios of different designers. But um, we give them the consumers an opportunity to take a style quiz and sort of to discover their style. Um, and then they can cert they can actually select a designer and uh, and purchase a room package. And our des our e design platform is going to be very different than um, I think probably any other uh, one out there because we're allowing the designers to come in and set their own packages. They can create their deliverables. They can create their pricing. Um, and when we say three hundred sixty degree platform. We can, you can also, the designer can also source all the products directly from TDN and we sell and deliver and service. So there's an opportunity for designers to make design fees as well as significant commissions um, on the furniture and still provide a great value for the consumer. And uh, we're going to start beta testing that in about two weeks. Um, we have really spent a lot of time with you guys, with others. We had a great panel discussion uh, at market which was very well received, but we, it's a very sophisticated process and it's uh, that we've defined that it's um, really has a consumer dashboard. It has a designer dashboard. Um, we've got some incredible design tools there, a mood board creator, um, you know, and so there's a, there's really a step-by-step -step process of us getting a questionnaire to that consumer, getting this feedback from them so that we understand what the parameters and the goals are. We're getting inspirational photos. We're getting photos of the in interior of their home, dimensions of their room. We've got a 2D and a 3D room planner, um, and there's a messaging center there. So it really is a, um, we've really spent a lot of time sort of baking out this experience. And at the end of the, end of the day, um, it's going to be just an easier way you know, for people to design their homes. And so uh, it's, a, it's a great additional benefit for designers and sort of brings everything together. We're excited. I mean, if, if anybody's brand new to the Design Network, again, just to recap, you did a th over a thousand brands, the project planning, um, more exposure, more ways to increase your bottom line through e-design, which we talked through our panel, we heard a, a military mom with little kids that can't really go out and service clients, and so it's a great thing. Um, we, we, we talked to so many designers about how they've integrated e-design or online interior design into their business models. I'm sorry, Dixie, did I cut you off? No, 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 no. <laughs> um, we do have, a, we've got Question. some questions starting to pop up. I'm not sure, would it be easier, Megan and Jason, to wait until the end and answer them all then? And just go through them all or ask them as they pop up we can do it as they pop up whatever works best for you guys um yeah so one of the things that i learned during this this e-design panel is just how like even top tier designers yep. have like decades of experience and have big design firms and big design celebrity firms. celebrity designers um they are leveraging e-design in yep. their businesses and making a lot of money on it at the same time because typically um they can they can use their status to get you know, consumers in the door, and they they have a team, sometimes a team of people that can yeah. get on these projects and junior designers, and um, and so they, they leverage their experience in their community. It's also a way to sort of get new clients. Um, mm -hmm. John Town is really interesting, and maybe it starts out as a small package, but yep. uh, it's just. In, the other thing that really was revealing to me is that a lot of, a lot of these big design projects take so long you know they're like a year or two years or three years and so this this sort of keeps designers on point but yep. they can actually finish things they like that completion of yeah from the panel as well. sometimes it's just nice to have something that you can get in get it done and see it on its way 
especially right. if like me, you exactly. When you have those long yeah. projects that take forever. Okay. So our first question is what geographical areas are included for the white glove delivery? We do it uh, all across the continental United States. Okay. So the 48 contiguous states. Yes. Which is unheard of. Nobody else uh, does this in our entire industry. We are sitting right now in our, in, in our distribution center and corporate headquarters in High Point. Um, I wish you guys could see this that are watching the video. Um, it, is, it is one incredible facility, but we have learned that we can't get other people to do it the way we do it <laughs> you know, in terms mm -hmm. of white glove delivery. So we have our own fleet of trucks. We have our own delivery guys. Um, and that is, that, that is probably the single most important thing you know, is that happens um, with this process is getting that product into the home, uh, leveled, set up, placed in the, you know, in the correct places um, and, and assembled the right way. And so that's what we do. We're proud of that, of that um, process, but we do it all across the country. And one of the things that I know uh, people have had a question about in the past, white glove delivery, you will keep it, keep the product there and take all of it out at once so that the client doesn't have to get a piece here, a piece there, a piece way over there? Yes. Um, some people want it to be delivered as it comes in, which we'll do, um, but a lot, most designers tend to want to uh, have the product you know, consolidated and stored um, and then all delivered right when they're ready to get it, you know, when the, when the project's complete. So would that be something that they would just speak with their design consultant about and say, hey, by the way, I need this to come as it comes in? Absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. Carolyn asked if there's a way to get samples, wood samples or fabrics, and is there a cost? And I know that we, I've been able to request some yep. samples. Yeah. Um, yes, you just request those through, um, through our website or through your project manager. Mm -hmm. uh, we can send out memo swatches. I think larger samples from some vendors, there's, there's a cost to it, but um, they, they're pretty lenient with us in terms of uh, sampling. So um, we get those right out to you. And typically there's not any cost to it. Perfect. All right. Um, I just wanted to add, there are no minimums. Um, <laughs> That's an important fact. For the program, which is a really big perk for designers. I think we're good on the questions now. So if you want to go ahead and show people how to sign up, okay. I'll keep an eye on the questions as we go along. Okay. All right. Go screen share. Okay. So um, here's the landing page when you go to the designnetwork.com. Um, and just really quick, I wanted to show everyone that um, up at the very top in purple, you'll see the months, um, like if we have free delivery, right now we have free delivery over $699 for purchases. Um, and you can always click on details and we'll give you a little bit more detail. Um, and then I wanted to also show that, um, you know, we have all of this. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the featured designers which we um, we do feature designers every week and we put that on Facebook, our Facebook page, and we also tag those designers um, if they have a Facebook. And we also showcase their work, um, which is a really awesome visibility um, opportunity. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay, so to sign up, I'm just gonna, I think I'm signed in, so I'm gonna log out and just kind of walk through and show you exactly how to sign up. Um, so if you're brand new, you're gonna click on join and it's gonna come up with two options. And since you're a professional designer, you're gonna go to start application. Um, and then it's gonna ask you for general information. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna make up some information just so I can show you. It'll ask for your email and your email is gonna be your login um, username. And then you'll create a password. Um, you can put your firm name, your title, 
and then it'll ask for your address and you can put um, your personal or you can put your firm address. We're just going to use Zane for everything. <laughs> All right, if you have a website, that's really good to provide. Um, how did you hear about TDN? And you can click on these options. Um, we'll go here. And then would you like to have a professional profile listing? That was what Jason was talking about, where you can have a profile on, on our platform and then you can sign up for the newsletter. And then you're gonna continue to your resale and tax documents. Oops. And it'll let you know if you need to enter something. I always end up having to enter something. <laughs> <laughs> I always skip something. All right. This is so the way it happens to me. I know. And it's, it's, it's not just TDN, it's any website yeah. ever. Okay, and so then you're gonna be brought to your tax document information. Um, so this is where you would provide your resale certificate and your W-9. Um, if you don't have it on hand, if you're doing this somewhere where you don't have the option to add it, you can plan to submit it later. Or with the resale certificate, you can also, um, you have the option to pay the tax. Um, and it provides you an email to submit it later. And then you can do the same thing with your W-9. And I'm going to do that just so I can show you how to go in and add it if you if you weren't able to add it beforehand. And then here are all of our terms and conditions. So you would just read through all of that and then click accept. Um, and here's where you would add your deposit information, which is really important for commission uh, so that it will go directly into your account because we do direct deposit. Um, you do have the option to provide that later. And then you have to authorize us to be able to use that. And then you submit your application. And it tells you that um, you will be processed in one to two business days. And in the meantime, you can go ahead and build your profile and everything. I'm going to uh, stop you just for mm -hmm. a second here. Um, and Megan, I'm, not you, Megan, but the, the Megan that asked the question, we're going to come back to that one. But Pam asked, is the network, is the design network available to Canadian designers, which I believe it is, correct? Yes. And what are the limitations for us other than no white glove delivery? Aren't there are a couple of different things that have to be uploaded in the when you're building a profile, correct? Um, as far as building a profile, you don't have to provide your um, tax documents and everything because right. the purchasing is a little bit different. But um, other than that, it, it's pretty, it'll walk you step by step. It's not much different for um, international. Perfect. Was there another question or should I keep going? There is, but it's about affiliate benefits. So I'm gonna wait till we get down to that part. Okay. Um, okay, so once you're in, um, you can set up all of your profile, which uh, we're gonna do a Q and, or we're gonna do a, another webinar where we talk about optimizing your profile. So I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail here, um, but I did just wanna show you if you are in your account and you, um, you chose to upload your, documents later if you go to account up here and you click on commission um, here is where you can go back in and add those so you can add your deposit information you can add your um, resale and this is also where if you purchase through tdn online you can um, track your orders and view your commissions and everything and if somebody if you do have somebody who uses your link to purchase something then it will show up on the commission report? Yes, it, it'll show up right here. So if I click on that right now, it's gonna come up and show me nothing because I haven't done anything, but it'll look like this and you can mm -hmm. view your details and all that. Perfect. Well, that's pretty much how you sign up and um, add those documents once you are in, if you chose to add them later. 
Um, and I did want to also just share that if you scroll down to the very bottom and you go to about and you click on trade direct, it will give you some more information. Um, a lot of people don't know that that's there. So I just wanted to share that. Yeah, that's how, that's how that works. I think, that's, I think that's about it because since we're going to go into um, detail for profile and everything later. Okay. Do you want to go into and just maybe like show what a, an uploaded full profile looks like? I, I mean, even if, if you go to mine or somebody's. Yeah, sure. I'll um, just, just to show what it looks like. Okay, so we'll go to... Or your find a designer, or is it? Yeah, so if you um, click on find a designer, so it, it kind of looks like this. And another thing about the featured designers is they pop up up here um, when you go to find a designer, which is also another really great thing. And so we'll just, I'll click on Rachel. And so this is what it looks like to a consumer or anybody going in to look um, it gives you an overview, and then you can go into specifically look at their boards, their portfolio, their videos, and then you can also link your website, which is a really great thing um, if you build your profile online. And you can connect with Rachel. She's put in all of her social media links here. She's fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So that pretty much covers how you set things up. Mm -hmm. um, th we have a question. What is the timeline for deliveries? And that's going to be all over the place depending on what you order because some things are going to be quick. Some things have a lead time plus delivery time. So that's not, it, it's not going to be two days, I'm guessing. Right. Well, there's, there are variables with this, right? Um, mm -hmm. So it's, I think it's important to, when, you, when you're starting the process of shopping to really define what your timeline is up front. Um, you know, so that the more time we have, the more options that we have at our, at our fingertips with customization and, and products. Um, we have products that are in stock with our manufacturers and uh, are available immediately. They're, they're in the warehouse. Um, but most of what we do is special order. Um, and so it just depends on how much time you have, and then we can sort of go from there to show you the options that you have available if, if time is the big part. The other uh, variable is obviously your geographic location. We, uh, we are East Coast based, so um, we can pretty much, once we receive the products in our distribution center, if you live like east of the Mississippi, we can have them uh, to you within a few days or maybe a week, week and a half. Um, the, we, when we go west of the Mississippi, it can be longer. It can add, it, it depends on where we are in the cycle of delivering to the West Coast. Um, so if we're, uh, it could be one to three additional weeks, um, you know, to get the delivery schedule depending on, on where we are with the cycle. Um, but you know, it's, so those, those are the variables. The products that you choose, if they're in stock or not, and the lead times for customization, as well as your your geography. And that I'm. Would the geography be a question you can ask your um, design consultant to get a more, a slightly more pinpointed um, delivery time once you all have received the pieces? Yep. Perfect. A lot of times we're at the mercy of the manufacturer. That, that's the biggest oh, yeah. we have is like, you know, we're, we are dependent on them. But that is also where your design consultant, your project manager is of so much value, really, because they, they know the lead times. They know... Um, and we, we actually do a lot of work behind the scenes to um, not just take what the vendors say and, and put that. We look historically and say our average vendor lead times, we have that in our system. It's, it's updated with every single uh, uh, shipment that we receive. So um, we do keep our averages here on hand as well. As somebody who has worked in retail furniture, ordering custom pieces. Rachel and I both actually know that, yeah, just because they say, oh yeah, we'll have it to you in three weeks does not mean that the manufacturer is going to, fabric could be an issue, the quality could be an issue, shipping could be an issue. I once had something stuck in a shipping container offshore for like three months. Pirates. So, 
yeah. pirates are at you. <laughs> All kinds of natural disasters. Things do right. happen. They are variable. But um, let's see. Is there a search option that lets people see items with quick ship times? Ooh. Oh, lead time. Sort by lead time. No. It is not on there currently, but we will add that to the list. <laughs> that's, that's a, that's good, a good one for in, like, a, just, or at least saying, like, in stock stuff. Yeah, I mean, you have, right now, I don't think lead time is, uh, is a search option, but it, no. is, it is on the, the, the item details. Yeah. And then kind of going back to delivery just a little bit, how long does it take to receive your commission after delivery or at what point? I'm guessing it's not going to be immediately after delivery. Yeah. It's got to be. The commissions are paid after the products are invoiced and delivered. Um, okay. So typically just, um, you know, shortly after the products are delivered. Okay. Yeah. So not immediately, but pretty quickly after. Yeah. In the next 15 day cycle. Yeah. That's perfect. And, um, ask, oh, there's another one. Commission amount. Okay. That depends on the product, correct? Well, there, there, it's, uh, it's a great question, and I'm glad it came up. Um, so some of the things we haven't talked about are affiliate opportunities. Um, you know, we, it's another great benefit of the network is that you can build these product boards, you can share product boards on your social media, or, um, you know, as, as consumers are coming to the website, um, they, they, they're making purchases themselves, not working with the designer. If they discover one of your boards and they add a product from your board to, to their cart, you earn a 5% commission on that order. So uh, the affiliate commissions are 5%. That means that you share a product from TDN, you share a board, you share a mood board, and someone um, clicks on a product from that board, comes to the platform and buys something, you earn 5% commission transparently. Um, and uh, so the other, the other piece of it is if you are actually leveraging the store, uh, if, you're cut, if you're bringing clients to Furniture Land South and you're on the, the TDN trade program um, and you opt for them to purchase the furniture and for you to earn a commission, those in-store commissions are 5%. Um, if the pricing is negotiated or reduced um, or for clearance items, it, it goes down to 3%. Um, and the other, the other big one that's new that's coming out here in just a couple of weeks is um, is e-design commissions. And um, because it, because there's not a design consultant or a project manager collaborator that we have to pay on the, on these transactions, we're paying a 10% commission on um, on e-design shopping lists that are specified for a project. So that's going to be our highest commission is is in e-design. So you have affiliate commissions, you have in-store commissions. Um, and then you have e-design commissions where you're prescribing products um, for that particular project and the client clicks on that, purchases those products, you're going to earn 10%, which is our highest. So 10% plus the design fee that we set. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, does e yeah, blah, 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 I can talk, I promise. Does e-design apply to commercial products or just residential? Well... You know, the thing with e-design is that we, we're making it really easy for you to select products from our platform, create mood boards, add them into the concepts, to create your shopping list from our products. And again, each month that goes along here, we're adding like tons and tons of amazing products as we get our PIM system in place. Um, but we don't have many commercial products on the platform yet. Um, so we do have a, a commercial division at Furniture Lane South now, and that's one of our goals to get those products on the, on the website. Um, so that, that will be an option moving forward. The other thing I want to mention is that um, we, in case you have other uh, resources that you like to source products from, and we don't carry everything in the world in terms of other products for the home, uh, within eDesign, you're able to, um, I say prescribe like you're a doctor or something. <laughs> Well, that's the only word I can come up with for this. Source. But source or um, what I choose, whatever products that you're choosing for that client. You can add non-TDN products. Um, and some there, you may have affiliate accounts with other uh, vendors or other. Uh, we want to make it as easy as possible to use the TDN products because we, we can control that in terms of the delivery and and. But, we know there's other sources that designers might, might want to use and, and maybe even sources where you're making affiliate 
commissions as well. We do allow non-TDN products to be to be uh, recommended as well. You mean you don't carry all of the wallpaper and no. darn it? No, no bath fixtures, you know, <laughs> plumbing fixtures, wallpaper, anything that's uh, requires like um, it's connected to the house. You know, anything right. connected to the house, um, we don't really get into that. Uh, let's see here. Farah asked if we have a design listing with portfolio pictures, and we've talked to you before about this, Jason. But do you lay does TDN lay claim to those photos like House does? Do we know we only um, sub license your your um, media, and so that's pretty uh, clearly spelled out on the platform. The thing that's different about us is that. Um, you know, we're, we, as long as you have the, the products or the, the images, the media on our website, then you're giving us a license to use them within the TDN platform. Um, anytime you want to remove those, um, we're no longer licensed to leverage them on our platform. We, we don't leverage them anywhere else except for in, in the TDN world. Um, so there's, there should be no issues of us leveraging your media outside of any TDN uh, defined properties. And I think we mentioned this too before, but if you didn't have the license to show them on the website, you wouldn't be able to show them on the website at all, not even in the design like We wouldn't profile. be able to upload it. Yeah, we wouldn't be able so. to upload it. Uh, Phyllis said, did I miss something? Rachel mentioned a e-design e e fee. Do we set a design fee with our clients, which is separate from our commission? Yes, ma'am. And we'll yes. be talking more about that. We're going to have a special webinar just for e-design. Yeah, this is what we've been working on for the last couple of months with Jason and his team is this new online design aspect to the to the platform. And yes, we will be setting our own fees. We'll be setting, I think we could do three different packages, which we set, um, you know, got like a good, better, best sort of thing. Plus, we'll be earning commission uh, for the products that we specify. And we did a podcast episode on that, too. So if you want, bef before the webinar comes out, if you want to get a little bit more information, that would be a good place to do that. Designandstylepodcast.com. You can create up to three packages. Um, part of our monetization that, that fuels our business is we, we, we do have a rev share on that, um, the revenue that's paid from the, uh, from the consumer into the designer, but you can you can set your fees where you at whatever level you want to to cover uh, our part of that if you want to. Um, and uh, so we think it's a really wholesome you know situation there for monetization from from the e-design fees. But we take our percentage of the fees, which is like twenty five percent of the of the fees that are paid in by the consumer for the package, um, and that's what that's what fuels our business and helps us. And we're to, to build the software, to support what we're doing, to do the national ad campaign. And this fall, we're gonna be doing a, a big ad campaign with a lot of big time social media influencers, really kind of uh, introducing this notion of e-design. We've done a lot of research that um, that shows that people don't really know what e-design is. Generally out there, they know the phrase online to design, but um, we think it's it's there's a huge demand for it, you know, because it is very difficult, challenging, people to go through the design process and to purchase furniture and get design help. Um, but we're, we're making that process a lot easier, um, you know, to, uh, to happen. So I see the question about how do you share a mood board? That's going to be more of the next webinar that we do, how to optimize your profile. We're going to show you how to share it. If you have a question in the meantime, and I know, I know that you are already a TDN user, um, you can jump into the TDN there's a trade direct group. network designers group that you can hop in there and ask the questions if, if waiting for the next webinar is going to take too long. Um, and Megan asked, is it possible to register a client so that when they make any purchases, will we receive a commission? Um, so if they purchase outside of the design board, will we, will we see, would we still receive commissions for the client? And I think that one is going to be another one that we can talk more in depth about because but we the, need to show all of this yeah stuff for that you need yeah but i mean the short answer is yes. it has to be directly on the board 
it will, it has to be your referral. You have to have a referral link. Yeah. yeah. I love that that question. That it's something uh, they will be registered with eDesign. Right. So mm -hmm. platform if they're, if That's true. Action going on. They yeah. Will get the full commission, but the other the other piece is affiliate commissions. And yes. You don't have it really in place for for you to register any. It, that could be. There's no like a, yeah. A lot of different you know things that, that can happen. So I think if, within eDesign, if you're working with that that client, you're registered with that client. With yes. But affiliates, no way to register a client. Okay. But we'll, we'll get into ways that you can make sure that they have the right link to purchase that um, in, the next, in the next episode of this webinar. Next <laughs> webinar in this series. And then we have one more question um, asking more about Canadian users. So can you elaborate more on how consumers make use of the design network and how do you advertise for the Canadian market? Um, you know, we welcome Canadian designers on our platform. Um, you know, they can sign up just like, um, you know, designers from the States. Um, we ship a lot of furniture to Canada. And so we have an international shipping department that handles all the uh, documentation um, and information that's needed there uh, for customs and that sort of thing. So we, we handle that. What you can't do currently today is to purchase via e-commerce internationally. Uh, those transactions have to come through your project manager currently. <laughs> so that was great. If anyone has any other questions about um, how to set up your trade account, how to get on the platform, um, we are going to be going into more. Uh, what is our next webinar on, Megan? Um, uh, how to optimize your profile. How to optimize your, because there are so many options. Once Jason starts doing his, um, you know, big advertising and starts leading consumers, they're going to be looking at all of our profiles. So we want to make sure that we've optimized them with everything. I mean, Jason is allowing us to upload um, not only portfolio photos, but videos, um, make sure you're, you know, your bio's good, you know, all of it. So, so that'll be great. I don't see any other questions on today's. So I think that's it. I think we're good. Thank you all so much. We will make sure everybody gets emailed uh, the link to the replay of this. If we've got it recorded, we are going to uh, actually post it in a place you can find it in the design and style group. Um, and that way, if you have any more questions or if you've missed something, you can come back and rewatch it. Yeah. This is a great time to just get up and, and running because mm -hmm. there are so many exciting things happening that Dixie and I wanted to start the process of you getting on the platform and getting ready for when we launch this uh, on we Jason we <laughs> it's our baby too now I'm passionate about it <laughs> just to, I mean, the one thing that I want to say about TDN is that the independent interior design community is at the core of this of this entire platform everything we do uh, puts the designer first, um, and, and it, it is evolving, um, and it's organic, and one thing that I do want to solicit from this group, and, we, and this design and style group has been amazing for our business, and just, um, you know, the feedback that you guys have given us, um, please give us feedback, give us ideas, things that you want us that, that would help you in your business, your interior design business. I know that we have a lot of things that are, can be of great value to you you and your business. Um, we, we have uh, an incredible retail business that we've operated for 50 years. And, you know, we, we do, last month we did $2 million worth of business with and through designers. So um, we, we've, we do this a lot, but we want to continue to get better and better and better and serve this community. Is there an estimated time for the e-design launch? Yeah, um, so I didn't know exactly what I was getting myself into <laughs> with, with building this platform. And uh, I was like, yeah, e-design, let's do that. And, um, and so it has taken a lot longer to really um, make, you know, something uh, that's complex, trying to make it simple, it's complex to do that. But um, we, we will be in a beta test. We're actually kind of internally beta testing right now. We just started that this week. Um, we, we're actually going to send an email out to the to our design community and ask for volunteers uh, to help us test and get their e-design packages and new profiles set up. We're going to turn the feature on for just those that want to participate in our beta test. That's great. The, the reward for doing that 
is going to be that when we do, you know, push the go live on this, that um, you're going to be the first designers available that are popping up for consumers that want e-design. And so it'll be a great benefit and getting in early. Uh, but you also, we're also asking you to give us feedback. But we're looking about two weeks probably from today. Um, so, you know, maybe late May, uh, we're going to be in that beta test process. We'll probably send the email invite out next week for that. So exciting. <laughs> That was sweet. So Megan uh, posted, I just want to thank you for this platform. I'm in love and in love. I am in love and so excited to learn about the features. Thank you all for being here and creating such a wonderful enhancement program for the trade professionals. You are appreciated. Thank, thank you. you. That's so sweet. That is Megan that put that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Megan Morrow. <laughs> That's an in-house mm. comment. <laughs> I, and we already had somebody sign up as they were watching. <gasps> wow, that's that. awesome. Multitaskers, we love it. Fabulous. So we are excited to uh, bring you another two more series of webinars as we uh, approach the big launch date for eDesign. Yep. And I think that's it for today, right? Awesome. Thank you so much for the opportunity, guys. Yep. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.